Ernst Kaltenbrunner, a prominent figure within the Nazi regime, was one of the key individuals responsible for implementing Hitler's reign of terror during World War II. As the chief of the Reich Main Security Office, RSHA, and later as the head of the Gestapo, Kaltenbrunner played a pivotal role in orchestrating some of the most brutal acts committed by the Nazi regime. This video delves into the life, actions, and legacy of Ernst Kaltenbrunner. Early Life and Rise Within the Nazi Party Ernst Kaltenbrunner's early life and journey within the Nazi Party offer insights into his ideological fervor and strategic positioning within the regime. Born on October 4, 1903, in Kreis, Austria, Kaltenbrunner grew up in a time of political turbulence and social unrest. His upbringing and exposure to right-wing nationalist sentiments in Austria laid the foundation for his future involvement with the Nazi Party. Kaltenbrunner's academic pursuits led him to study law at the University of Vienna, where he became deeply influenced by the nationalist ideologies prevalent in the interwar period. In 1930, he joined the Austrian Nazi Party, which had recently been established under the leadership of Anton Drexler and Adolf Hitler. Kaltenbrunner's fervent belief in the supremacy of the Aryan race and the necessity of authoritarian rule propelled his rapid ascent within the party ranks. His unwavering loyalty to Hitler and his persuasive oratory skills caught the attention of more senior party members. Kaltenbrunner's charisma and dedication to the Nazi cause earned him positions of increasing responsibility and authority. He excelled at propagating Nazi propaganda and recruiting new members, effectively expanding the party's influence throughout Austria. With the Anschluss, the annexation of Austria into Nazi Germany in 1938, Kaltenbrunner's political career reached new heights. He seamlessly transitioned into the ranks of the Nazi machinery, occupying key positions that allowed him to consolidate power and implement Hitler's radical policies. His role in the Office of the Interior enabled him to shape the legal framework to align with Nazi ideology, suppressing dissent and consolidating control over the Austrian population. Kaltenbrunner's close association with high-ranking Nazi officials, such as Heinrich Himmler, Reinhard Heydrich, and Adolf Eichmann, further solidified his position within the party. His unwavering commitment to the cause and his ability to execute tasks with ruthless efficiency earned him the trust and admiration of his superiors. In addition to his political activities, Kaltenbrunner actively participated in SS organizations, including the SS Totenkopfverband, Death's Head Units, and the Sicherheitsdienst, SD. These organizations were responsible for implementing Nazi policies, suppressing opposition, and carrying out acts of terror. Ernst Kaltenbrunner's rise within the Nazi party was marked by his ideological fervor, strategic positioning, and unwavering loyalty to Adolf Hitler. His early involvement in Austrian politics, combined with his legal background, provided him with a unique skill set that allowed him to become an integral figure within the Nazi machinery. As he ascended through the ranks, his influence grew, shaping the course of history and leading him to become one of the chief architects of Nazi terror. Role as Chief of the Reich Main Security Office Ernst Kaltenbrunner's appointment as the chief of the Reich Main Security Office, RSHA, marked a pivotal moment in his career and solidified his authority as a key figure within the Nazi regime. As the head of the RSHA, Kaltenbrunner wielded significant power and oversaw a vast network of security agencies, each tasked with enforcing Nazi policies and maintaining control over the occupied territories. Under Kaltenbrunner's leadership, the RSHA's operations expanded to new levels of ruthlessness and efficiency. He implemented a systematic approach to suppress dissent and eliminate perceived threats to the Nazi regime. The Gestapo, the secret police force infamous for its brutal methods, fell under Kaltenbrunner's purview. He ensured that it operated with unprecedented authority, employing tactics such as arbitrary arrests, torture, and extrajudicial killings to instill fear and maintain control. The RSHA also encompassed the security service, Sicherheitsdienst or SD, which played a crucial role in intelligence gathering, surveillance, and propaganda dissemination. Kaltenbrunner's strategic oversight of the SD allowed him to monitor and infiltrate opposition groups, providing the Nazi regime with valuable information to quash resistance. In addition to the Gestapo and the SD, the RSHA included the criminal police, Kripo, responsible for combating ordinary criminal activities. Kaltenbrunner ensured that the Kripo aligned its operations with the broader objectives of the Nazi regime, integrating the fight against crime with the persecution and elimination of targeted groups. This approach further consolidated the regime's control and enabled the implementation of genocidal policies. 
Perhaps Kaltenbrunner's most infamous role within the RSHA was his active participation in the implementation of the final solution. As the head of the organization responsible for Jewish affairs, he played a key role in coordinating the deportation and extermination of millions of Jews and other targeted groups. Under his watch, the machinery of genocide operated with terrifying efficiency, systematically annihilating entire communities and perpetrating unspeakable atrocities. Kaltenbrunner's leadership style was marked by ruthless determination, strategic thinking, and unwavering loyalty to Hitler's vision. His ability to coordinate the various security agencies under the RSHA, while ensuring their compliance with Nazi ideology, showcased his organizational skills and ideological commitment. By centralizing power and implementing a hierarchical structure within the RSHA, Kaltenbrunner played a crucial role in enabling the systematic terror and oppression that characterized the Nazi regime. Ernst Kaltenbrunner's tenure as chief of the Reich Main Security Office stands as a chilling testament to his willingness to carry out Hitler's genocidal policies and maintain absolute control over occupied territories. His leadership within the RSHA contributed to the unparalleled suffering inflicted during the Holocaust, and solidified his position as one of the architects of Nazi terror. Implementation of the Holocaust Ernst Kaltenbrunner's central role in implementing the Holocaust, the systematic extermination of millions of people deemed undesirable by the Nazi regime, reveals the extent of his cruelty and dedication to Hitler's genocidal policies. As the head of the Reich Main Security Office, RSHA, Kaltenbrunner wielded immense power and orchestrated the persecution, deportation, and murder of numerous targeted groups. With chilling efficiency, Kaltenbrunner oversaw the logistical aspects of the Holocaust, coordinating the mass deportations of Jews from all across Nazi-occupied Europe to extermination camps. Under his leadership, the RSHA organized and executed the infamous Final Solution, with meticulous planning and cold-hearted precision. The scale and coordination required to transport millions of victims to death camps like Auschwitz, Treblinka, and Sobibor were immense, and Kaltenbrunner's organizational skills were instrumental in executing these operations. Kaltenbrunner's unwavering commitment to Nazi ideology made him a trusted enforcer of Hitler's vision. He ardently believed in the racial superiority of the Aryan race and viewed the targeted groups as threats to the Germanic master race. Alongside his colleagues in the RSHA, Kaltenbrunner participated in the formulation and implementation of anti-Semitic policies that gradually escalated from persecution to mass murder. Not limited to the Jews, the Holocaust extended its horrors to other marginalized groups. Under Kaltenbrunner's supervision, the RSHA targeted Romani people, homosexuals, disabled individuals, and political dissidents for persecution and extermination. The machinery of terror, directed by Kaltenbrunner, operated with ruthless efficiency, rounding up these groups, subjecting them to horrific conditions in concentration camps, and ultimately sentencing them to death. Kaltenbrunner's efficient management of the RSHA played a significant role in the smooth functioning of the Holocaust. His ability to coordinate various branches of the security apparatus, including the Gestapo, SD, and Kripo, ensured the effective implementation of Nazi policies. By suppressing dissent, quashing resistance, and ruthlessly enforcing racial purity, Kaltenbrunner consolidated his position as a trusted lieutenant of Hitler. It is important to acknowledge that Kaltenbrunner's actions were not isolated but were part of a larger system driven by Nazi ideology and supported by countless individuals within the regime. However, his position as the head of the RSHA, responsible for coordinating and executing the genocidal policies, places him directly at the heart of the Holocaust's implementation. Ernst Kaltenbrunner's unwavering commitment to Nazi ideology, his managerial prowess within the RSHA, and his active role in implementing Hitler's genocidal policies cemented his legacy as a central figure in the Holocaust's heinous crimes against humanity. His actions, and those of his collaborators, remain a stark reminder of the depths of human cruelty, and the imperative to never forget the horrors perpetrated during this dark chapter of history. War Crimes and the Nuremberg Trials Ernst Kaltenbrunner's capture by the Allied forces marked the beginning of a new chapter in his life, one where he would be held accountable for his involvement in war crimes, crimes against humanity, and the Holocaust. As the tide turned against the Nazi regime and World War II neared its end, Kaltenbrunner's actions were brought to the forefront, and the international community sought justice for the atrocities committed under his leadership. In the aftermath of the war, the victorious Allied powers established the International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg to prosecute the key figures responsible for the Nazi regime's crimes. 
Kaltenbrunner, as one of the highest-ranking officials within the Nazi security apparatus, stood accused of egregious offenses against humanity. The Nuremberg trials were groundbreaking in their pursuit of justice on an international scale. For the first time in history, individuals were held accountable for war crimes and crimes against humanity, setting a precedent that would shape future trials and the development of international law. During the trial, evidence was presented that implicated Kaltenbrunner in the implementation of Hitler's genocidal policies, including the Holocaust. Testimonies from survivors, documents, and correspondence unveiled the extent of his involvement in orchestrating the mass murder of millions. It became clear that Kaltenbrunner's role as the head of the RSHA had contributed significantly to the commission of these heinous crimes. On October 1, 1946, the International Military Tribunal found Ernst Kaltenbrunner guilty on all counts. He was convicted of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and the Holocaust. The judgment recognized his direct involvement in the systematic persecution and extermination of targeted groups, as well as his responsibility for the countless lives lost and the immeasurable suffering inflicted upon innocent people. The sentence handed down to Kaltenbrunner was the ultimate consequence for his actions. On October 16, 1946, he was executed by hanging at Nuremberg Prison. His execution, alongside other high-ranking Nazis, symbolized the world's collective condemnation of the crimes committed under the Nazi regime. The Nuremberg trials represented a significant milestone in the pursuit of justice, and the recognition of individual responsibility for war crimes and crimes against humanity. By holding individuals like Kaltenbrunner accountable for their actions, the trial sent a powerful message, those who commit unspeakable atrocities will face the consequences, regardless of their rank or position. Ernst Kaltenbrunner's trial and subsequent execution were a culmination of the international community's determination to ensure that those responsible for the Holocaust and other Nazi crimes were held to account. His fate serves as a reminder that the pursuit of justice and the memory of the victims remain an integral part of preserving human rights and preventing such atrocities from recurring in the future. Legacy and Historical Significance Ernst Kaltenbrunner's legacy is one of infamy, representing the darkest aspects of human nature and the horrors of the Nazi regime. His active participation in implementing Hitler's genocidal policies and his efficient management of the Reich Main Security Office RSHA, contributed to the immense suffering and loss of life during World War II. Kaltenbrunner's role in the Holocaust, along with his involvement in other crimes against humanity, has left an indelible mark on history. The systematic extermination of millions of Jews, along with the persecution and extermination of other targeted groups, stands as a stark reminder of the depths to which human depravity can sink. The Nuremberg trials, where Kaltenbrunner was tried and found guilty, played a crucial role in establishing the principles of international law and justice. The trials represented a watershed moment in holding individuals accountable for war crimes and crimes against humanity. The verdicts handed down during the trials demonstrated the international community's commitment to ensuring that those responsible for unspeakable atrocities faced consequences for their actions. Kaltenbrunner's conviction and subsequent execution sent a powerful message to the world, the crimes committed under the Nazi regime would not go unpunished. His fate, along with that of other high-ranking Nazis, symbolized the rejection of their ideology and the global condemnation of their actions. In the broader historical context, Kaltenbrunner's role serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of ideological extremism and the consequences of unchecked power. It highlights the importance of vigilance in protecting human rights, promoting tolerance, and preventing the recurrence of such atrocities in the future. The memory of Ernst Kaltenbrunner and the crimes he committed continue to serve as a solemn reminder of the importance of preserving the lessons of history. His actions underscore the necessity of educating future generations about the Holocaust and other genocides, promoting understanding and fostering a commitment to human rights and dignity. Ultimately, Ernst Kaltenbrunner's legacy is one that stands as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the depths of human cruelty and the imperative to ensure that the atrocities he participated in never occur again. His historical significance lies in his role as a symbol of the consequences faced by those who perpetrate war crimes and crimes against humanity and the ongoing duty to prevent such atrocities from happening in the future. Conclusion Ernst Kaltenbrunner's life and actions are a stark reminder of the atrocities committed during the Nazi era. As the chief of the Reich Main Security Office and a key figure within the Gestapo, Kaltenbrunner played a crucial role in implementing Hitler's genocidal policies and orchestrating the Holocaust. The Nuremberg trials stand as a testament to the pursuit of justice, 
and the determination of the international community to hold individuals accountable for their actions, ensuring that the crimes committed by Kaltenbrunner and his Nazi collaborators are never forgotten. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.